Hey everybody, it's Kenton coming at you from Multipure's laboratory. Today we're going to talk about TDS, or Total Dissolved Solids. Now specifically, we're going to talk about a product out there on the market that claims to get your water down to zero TDS. Here it is. It's a pitcher. You pour your water in the top chamber. It trickles through this rather large filter down into the lower chamber and voila, you have zero TDS. Now, before we demonstrate the picture, let's talk a little bit about TDS and what that means. Total dissolved solids is generally a measurement of the conductivity of the water. And things that might contribute to TDS are oftentimes minerals in the water, things like calcium or potassium or magnesium, things that are generally thought of as being beneficial in your water. Well, today we're going to demonstrate with five different beakers of water uh, the TDS might not be a measure of the healthfulness of the water. Now this picture in their marketing um, seemed to imply that zero TDS is optimal and that having any TDS implies that there's some kind of contamination in your water. And so hopefully with today's demonstration you're going to see that that's not necessarily the case. So we're going to fill up the first beaker with a pitcher of this water. And then we are five others that we're going to test. Now to test, we're actually going to use two different tools today. The first one is a TDS meter. Um, it's pretty common in the industry and it gives you a digital readout of the um, measure of the TDS. The second one is also a TDS meter, uh, but it, instead of having a digital readout, it just has a light on the top that turns red if the TDS is higher than zero. Uh, and this is the TDS meter that comes with the picture. So if the light turns red, uh, the idea is, is that the water has higher than zero TDS and you need to change out the filter or there's something wrong with the water. So uh, the first beaker that we're going to test with the meter, as we would expect, zero TDS. I'm going to rinse off our TDS meter here in distilled water. The second substance we're going to measure here also shows zero TDS. Third substance. Comes out to about four. Still pretty low in terms of TDS. Next substance. Now the number is beginning to climb up. This one shows 12. And then finally, our fifth beaker. It's really climbing up there. We're about 125. 125. So, let's take a look now at what is in each of these beakers. The first one, as you'll recall, is water from the pitcher at zero TDS as we expected. The second beaker, which also had zero TDS, is distilled water with a splash of nail polish remover. The third beaker, which had about four TDS, it's a laboratory sample of 50 parts per billion of lead. That is three times the EPA limit for lead. So toxic levels of lead in that third beaker, very low TDS, about four TDS. This beaker, which had about 12 TDS, is a pretty typical spring water, artesian water, as the bottle says there. And then finally, the really high TDS, the 125, this is distilled water and I found uh, in the grocery store some mineral trace drops, some uh, trace mineral drops, excuse me. And this contains, as we'd expect, magnesium, uh, sodium, potassium. So something that you might want to add to your water, supplement your water if you have a min mineral deficiency of some kind. So as you can see, zero TDS in the nail polish remover, uh, really not an indication uh, of the safety of water, again, with the toxic levels of lead at 4 TDS, uh, mineral water, which people think of as generally healthy, and then the water with the added mineral supplement, uh, very high TDS, not necessarily 
uh, a measure of the healthfulness of the water. Uh, now, just to show that we're not cheating here, we're gonna actually splash some of our nail polish remover into the zero TDS water from the pitcher. It's teetering between zero and one. Zero, there we go. Zero TDS, zero water, splash with nail polish remover. And just to verify uh, that the tools that are coming along with this pitcher are also accurate, uh, remember if the light lights up red, it's no good. I'll try it over here. So high TDS as we would expect. High TDS as we would expect. High TDS, as we would expect. Nail polish remover, nothing. Again, nail polish remover, nothing. So there you have it, folks. A demonstration uh, that the measure of TDS in water is not necessarily a measure of its safety or its healthfulness. Um, so. Please uh, do your research and we hope that this information has been helpful to you.